Boston area designers are making big streetwear strides. York Athletics is one success story. Other stories are still unfolding. Taylor Ross owns Rise Above in Framingham, home to his label, Hair Bear. It's an acronym, stands for Have a Reason, Be Every Reason. So we started as kind of a positive movement, again, to lift up the people in our community that we saw um, doing positive things. Ross and his team launched Hair Bear in 2014, giving t-shirts to influencers. Streetwear had low barriers to access, a relatively easy industry to get into. As business grew, Ross started carrying other local brands, including Alchemist, founded by Providence-based Ariana Romeo. But Alchemist is an ancient chemist, and they were known to make lead into gold, but is more of a metaphor spiritually from turning ignorance into enlightenment. Being an indie designer has its challenges, from learning how to get a tax ID to sourcing the right materials. Hoodies and the jackets are probably the hardest thing to make. If there's multicolors in your design, then it's more money. There's definitely a lot of things I've learned along the way. Everything from legal security of your designs to an actual designer, if not a team of designers. Streetwear has grassroots origins, says Michelle Finnamore, curator of fashion arts at the MFA. I really think of it as originating from subcultures who have their own very distinct style. An early example, the 1940s zoot suit. That's something that originates in Los Angeles with the Latino, Latina cultures, as well as in African-American groups in Harlem. This kind of oversized men's suit was really considered quite radical in its day, really filtering into pop culture via performers such as Cab Calloway and other jazz musicians. Over the decades, hip-hop, punk, and skater culture shaped street style into what it is today, says Finnamore. It's all about that rejection of kind of, you know, mainstream culture. Of course, the look is now mainstream, even for the luxury market. Part of the MFA's collection includes Adidas sneakers designed by Jeremy Scott, head of the fashion house Moschino. Gucci recently hired Harlem's legendary streetwear pioneer, Dapper Dan. Social media puts all of this on a virtual runway, making the potential for popularity infinite. You can also find your own peer group style-wise within that virtual world, and I think that's kind of fascinating. And some European streetwear actually originated in America. Yves Saint Laurent came here in the 70s, saw kids buying at yeah. Army Navy stores, took those ideas to the fashion runways of Europe. That's Chronicle for tonight. I'm Anthony Efron. I'm Shannon Seymour. Have a good one. <laughs>